I read an interesting piece of news the other day, the link is in the text description, and it's about a snooker player, professional snooker player, who said that amateurs shouldn't be allowed to play in professional tournaments. Here's what he said. All right. uh, amateurs should not be allowed in professional tournaments after suffering a shock first round exit from the UK Championships, losing 6-5 to China's Si Chao Wei in New York. Specifically, he says, the other 127 runners and riders in the tournament, players, it is their livelihood too. It is wrong, in my opinion, to walk into somebody who is not playing with the same pressures and concerns I am. He played like a man who doesn't have a care in the world because he doesn't have a care in the world. It's not fair. It's not right. Now, to me, that particular argument is spurious because what if he were to play another professional who has enough money that they never need to win another tournament? That person has no pressure on them regards as earning the money. What if a player just really didn't care whether they won or lost because of many other reasons? You are a professional. You are paid to play sport. It shouldn't matter who you are playing. Now, to his credit, he does say that uh, C deserved to win, but that doesn't really change anything. Now, I don't know whether um, amateurs are allowed to play in professional squash tournaments, but I think that they should be. We live in an open era, era sorry, and many uh, viewers or readers won't know that back in about 1968 for tennis, there was a separation between tennis uh, professionals and amateurs, and you couldn't mix them. And in squash, it was the same. Jonah Barrington was instrumental in changing that. We live in an area where everybody can play everybody. So my question to you, or my point to you, is do you think that amateurs should be allowed to play against professionals in a general sense? Now, if we were to look specifically at squash, I think that that would be a wonderful thing to do. There's a lot of the logistics to organise, like who gets to enter tournaments and how does it work. But to be a professional, you have to register with the PSA. Now, I don't know how that works. I looked into it many, many years ago when I had dreams of being a professional, and I'm sure it's changed. You need to pay a registration fee, I'm sure, and then you become registered as a professional. So how would it work in a tournament? Well, you'd have to give preference to all of the professionals first, of course, because that's how it works. But what if you sort of said that there was a qualifying tournament and the, you know, there was a qualifying tournament and the best, I don't know, two players were allowed to enter the draw in a, in, in a lower level um, professional tournament? I mean, that would be something. I mean, I remember I played in the British Open, I played three or four British Opens, I played in the World Open, and I was still technically an amateur. I was making my living from coaching, not playing. And anybody could enter. You paid the fee, you played in the qualifying tournament. If you were good enough, you got to uh, to the, the actual main round. Now, maybe that doesn't happen anymore. I'm not really sure about that. But what about this? You have a lower level tournament, and everybody who loses in the first round, all those professionals, are then entered into a second tournament where they have to play an amateur. Now, I think that it would be good for some amateurs to actually see how good a professional is against another amateur. I truly believe that squash suffers from this problem of that most people can't see how good the professionals are when they watch them. Even when they watch them on court, in the sense of not on television, I think that you actually need to be on court to see how fast they are, how hard they hit the ball, how consistently, how accurate, how mentally strong they are. And I think that that would be, bring a new dimension to some of the lower level tournaments, being able to, to sort of play against that. But anyway, so the, here are the, those two questions again. Do you think that professionals and amateurs should be uh, allowed to play against each other? And what sort of ideas do you have for allowing that to happen? I mean, it might, sorry, it might have, it, it might work really well in the women's game that the first round losers were allowed or you know entitled to play in a special pro-am tournament where they play against men amateurs. Now they need to earn money for this, they do, because they can't just hang around and just play games just for fun. They need to earn money, they're professionals, uh, so the entrance fee for these uh, matches would be quite high for the amateurs and maybe there's a special sponsor for that particular thing, but it might work well uh, against the women, but I do recognise that some of the professionals might not want to play against the amateurs. 
Not because they're scared of, scared of losing, but because there's uh, more chance of a risk. There's no points available for their, you know, their ranking. Uh, what benefit is maybe they need to get home and do some training for, you know, uh, for the next tournament. Uh, so there are, you know, logistical problems. But just generally interested to hear what you think, and specifically about what you think about Sean Murphy in this particular case. Do you think he was right? Let me know in the comments.